Alright guys, welcome to another video and in this video I just want to show you guys the spinal cord that I ripped out of some Evo Alien right here. Of course I'm kidding guys, this is actually the wiring kit which we have to install in the go-kart. Pretty much the brains, the spinal cord, pretty much everything that makes the go-kart cool is right here. So I figured I might as well go ahead and start at the very top and this is the front of the go-kart. And after you travel along the wire, you end up with the rear of the go-kart. So all that goes in the front, all that goes in the rear. And instead of going through each piece as I'm installing them, I first want to give you guys an overview of all of this. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, right here, of course, we've got the dashboard. This sits in a, pretty much right next to the driver so he can stick the key in. I'm going to be going into detail of every one of these pieces later on in a a separate video. These two clamps right here, this one and this one, are for the front headlights. These clamps right here, that one and that one, are for the front turn signals. Now that green little clamp is for the horn, although I don't like to have a horn on my go-kart for some reason. I just think it's annoying. And this right here is for the brake indicator lights. It's gonna sit right behind your brake pedal. So whenever you touch your brake pedal, a sensor is going to kick off, complete the circuit, and it's going to uh, trip your brake wire lights, or brake lights, whatever you want to call them. So that's all there is in the front. Again, most of the stuff is in the dashboard, and since the dashboard is so complex, I'm going to save that for another video, a separate video where I can go into more detail. Now, of course, you follow the wire all along until you get to the rear of the go-kart. And whenever you're mounting this wire, just go ahead and bolt it on the frame of your go-kart. That's pretty much what you do with all the wire. You pretty much are going to mount it along here, along the side, down here, all the way to the front. And that's actually what these little brackets are right here. You're supposed to put the wire under here and clamp them down so it keeps the wire from like getting under your feet and stuff. But anyways, let's get back to the good stuff. So now, as we look at the rear wiring system, these two wires right here are for your rear turn signals. This one right here is, whenever we install the roll bar, the roll bar has wiring built into it, uh, fog lights on top of it. So this is for the lights in your roll bar, the fog lights. Now this thick wire, if you notice, this wire right here is a little bit more thick than the rest of the wires. And whenever you have a wire that's more thick, it usually means then that it's for the starter because the starter takes a lot of electricity and it needs a thicker gauge wire. Now this confusing looking wire, let me get that those out of the way, this is for the fan on your engine. This right here is for the gauge on your uh, carburetor. And all of that right there is pretty much just where everything connects. It's the brain of everything. That one with blue tape over it is a ground wire. And I put blue tape over it because it has uh, two little washers on it. And I just didn't want them falling all over the garage floor. And of course, you guys probably know what these are already. These two wires are the positive and the negative for your battery. Of course, you plug those into your battery and it gives everything else juice. And this right here is the spark plug wire, which pretty much sends a electronic signal and it makes a spark in your spark plug. So there you have it. Those are all the pieces. And what I'm going to be doing is the things that we already installed in, a, for example, the uh, carburetor, you already know where that plug is in. But the things we didn't install yet, such as the lights and the turn signals in the dashboard, those are the only things that I'm going to be going over how to hook up the electronic things in detail because obviously you know that, okay, this plugs into the carburetor. I don't need a tutorial to show you how this plugs in. It's pretty obvious. So like I said, I'm only going to be going over some of the electronics in detail, but it's going to give you a pretty basic idea of how to hook everything up. So before I let you guys go in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys where this electronic box goes. If you look kind of right above your muffler, it screws into these two brackets right here. Now once you have the box screwed into these brackets, what you do is you put the cover on, which you can see right here, 
and that just keeps all the dirt and the rain and stuff from getting out. So I'm not going to show you guys that because working with uh, electronics is a pain in the butt. And like I said, I'm going to save most of, most of the stuff for upcoming tutorials. But for now, this is what you have to look forward to. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.